Hello everyone. So in today's session, we are going to learn about soil moisture sensor and how to use it and its working. So as you can see, this is our soil moisture sensor and this is your I2C, which is used to connect our soil moisture sensor with our backboard. Okay. Now, how does this soil moisture sensor so, uh, measures or how it's, what is it working? So for that, if you see the soil moisture sensor carefully, you will see that it has this conductive rods inside of it. So when we dip it, inside of a, uh, a bad surface or a, let's say a water. So here you can see we have a container filled with water. So when I dip on it, so as our water, impure water is conductive in nature. So these two rods are beginning contact with each other. So as I dip in water or in a wet soil, so these two plates are in contact with each other. So as they are in contact, so I2C will sense it. And according to that, we can uh, identify the weather we have so, uh, moisture or not. So let's uh, do some activity to understand it more. Now, if you see the soil moisture sensor, it only has uh, your two pins. So we can easily connect it with our jumper wires, which are female to female. And by that, we can connect it with our I2C. Now in the I2C, if you see, it has two ports which are coming as an input. And in the output, we have four ports. And between them, we have a potentiometer that is this blue color box, which is used to uh, change its intensity, like how, in how much intensity should uh, it sense that it has uh, water or not, or like the soil has moisture or not. And now let's see the output pins. In the output pins, if you see it carefully, uh, it has four pins in which two pins as your power pins, that is your VCC and ground. Let me keep them on the side and let's focus on it. So here, if you see it carefully, you will find that in the four pins, this first and second are of your uh, power pin, that is your VCC and ground. After that, the two pins which we have are your output pins. So uh, with this soil moisture sensor, we can fetch an analog output as well as a digital output. Uh, digital output means it will uh, give us only the value that whether it has a moisture or not. Like if I dip on this water, so whether I have dipped on it, like whether they are conducting or not. Okay. So this is your digital sensor. But in analog, what we have? We have the value also that how much conductive or it will give us value. For example, uh, here I have conducted little bit. So it will give us a value less. When I this more dipped, now we will get a higher value. So in analog sensor, we will also get the value also. But in digital, we will also uh, only get that whether we have moisture, yes or no. Now let's use our breadboard power supply, resistance, and some LED. So these are the components which we require to uh, perform an activity in which we are, what we are going to do. So we are going to measure that whether the soil uh, we have is a, we have moisture in it or not. For that, let's start by first using our I2C and put it inside our breadboard like this. So here if you see that all the four pins are like in a different vertical section so they are not connected with each other if i arrange them like this then they are short circuited like they are interconnected with each other so now they have different so now i can easily use them so let's start by providing them power or turn them on so for that we need power supply so here battery we have this red color is your power that is your positive so we are connected in the positive rail similarly we have this black color wire which is your negative so we have done the same, we have inserted in the negative rail. Now we have provided the power. Now as this is our sensor, electronic sensor, which uh, normally work under 5 volt, but we have a battery which has a range of 9 to 12 volt. So what we can use? We can use a resistance. Here we are using the resistance of 220 ohm. So let me insert a resistance wire in the positive section 
Again, the positive are another and two over VCC. So this is my VCC here. And this is the positive pin. So like we have connected them with positive to with positive of the power supply. Now we have to provide it and out like we have to connect the ground also to make a complete circuit. Now, here if you see that we have two LEDs also. One is your power LED and another is your output LED. When I provide the power, one LED will turn on. Let's say I have to connect the ground to the ground pin. Here you can see that one LED has been turned on and another LED will turn on when I dip this inside a water. So just you have to see it. Here you can see when I dip another LED has been turned on means it is sensing. Now what I want to do, I want to turn uh, let's say this green LED when I dip it inside the water. So as our LED has two terminals, our positive and negative and the output from our this sensor oil moisture is our negative that is it will be zero when I dip inside of it. Now, so let's connect directly with our output pin directly connected the output pin. Now we have left with, uh, like I have connected the positive to my output. Now we have left with the negative wire only. So let's connect the negative with the negative to complete the circuit. So as you can see at the starting our LED is not turned on. And when I dip it inside, here you can see, it is not turning on. Okay, actually it is digit uh, analog one. We have to use the digital pin. See it. So here if you see that it is working like opposite, but when I pulled out of it, it is turning your green color LED. Now what I want to do, I want to replace it. So let's just use your LED, switch it, and again plug it. Now if you see that we have connected the negative of our LED with my output and the, pos uh, the positive with the ground. So I have to just replace them. For put your positive with your positive pin and it will be digital one. Okay. Here you can see when I insert it, it is like uh, turning the LED on. So we can know that the soil has moisture in it. Thank you and see you in the next session.